Hey, Daryl. Here we are at 201 Charles. Um, we have vinyl plank floors that look really good. They did stage it, so it's gonna end up going way over 250 just because of how people's brains function. But here's your main living area. Really nice size. Upgraded vinyl windows. It is concrete block. The roof looks like it's in good shape. I didn't see any issues, wood rot, or anything around the soffits. Okay. And there's your front door just for reference. So it's just a really, really large living room area. You walk over here. This is this little half wall is laminate covered. Okay, you have 12 inch tile on the floor in the kitchen. Kitchen's a little rough. Um, it's white laminate. It is gas and swelling and peeling. So I would recommend, uh, oh, they have this built over to be a bar that looks out into the living room. Okay, so I mean, here. kitchen's a little rough, but it's hardwood. So we could easily change the hardware and paint the cabinets and sand them and it would look really good. And then just laminate countertops. However, the appliances look like they're from before the house was even built. <laughs> so you have a big old cooktop there. Sink here, no dishwasher and an in-wall oven. And then the fridge kind of sets outside of the kitchen into your dining area. Um, there's definitely room for your table here. I don't know, I mean, the, the arrangement's a little crazy, but I don't see any, I mean, you could, I feel like it would almost make more sense to close this back in and put the fridge over here and make room for a dishwasher. But okay, so now it looks like they have converted the Florida room into the master. They do have an AC duct coming down, so it is technically part of the square footage plank floor in here as well and then you have a walk off right from your master bedroom which I don't know how you're going to feel about that the uh, windows in here are the old aluminum ones and you do back right up to the DSR building on Babcock Street so I don't know how you feel about that either so there's definitely some negatives nice what? I don't, all right, I don't like this house. <laughs> your master closet is also where your water heater is. And uh, yeah, no. Okay, we'll keep going though. Here's your master bath. Um, bathtub, the tile is, the grout's pretty dirty and it's not in bad shape. You do have the aluminum windows back here. Hey, it's got the sink you like though. <laughs> And then a bunch of storage. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird today. I'm having an inflammatory episode, so I can barely, like, my tongue is swollen. <laughs> um, I'll go out in the backyard in a sec. So then we move over to this side. Okay, the tile is continuing. Okay, here's your HVAC. We're looking at 19, 2019, so that's good. And that's just that noise you heard. They just put an extra little insulator there so you don't get the air suck from the AC. So that's fine. Laminate in these rooms and it is peeling a little bit. It's a kind of rough shape. You do have the upgraded windows here though. It's a really nice size room. They have it staged with a queen. Okay, and then the, good, the closets are good size too. Again, everything's just like, I mean, it's a, just a little grody, if that makes sense. Like, it's hard. I mean, they've covered it with the staging, but it's just a little, like, I mean, it's a little grody. It needs, like, everything needs a really good scrub down. And, of course, the kitchen. The cabinets really need to be refinished, which I can show you how to do. I mean, it's not bad. My other concern is this bathroom looks original, so I need to find out about cast iron piping. Okay. Nice, deep, old-school cast iron tub, though, which I'm jealous. So if you do remodel the bathroom and rip that out, I'll take it. Okay, we're going to head into... Oh, let's see right here real quick. Probably the pantry. Yeah, so your pantry's kind of on the back side of the kitchen. Oh, 
under the tile, you have a uh, terrazzo floor though, and terrazzo is coming back and it's really pretty. So if they haven't like ruined the terrazzo with the like the glue where the plank floors are, where the peeling floors are, you could always pull that up and you just polish the terrazzo and it looks beautiful. So here's your garage, one car. It does have a good garage door. So it's the first time we've seen that. Tons of outlets. It's another water heater. So I don't know if your master has its own separate water heater. You do have a GE panel, but you have a Sears main interrupter. I need to find out about that because I haven't seen that before. I know it's old. <sighs> this is wild. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, this is a lot to... This is a lot to worry about with the inspection as far as I'm concerned, just because of the potential for cast iron and all that. I'm gonna cruise out to the backyard real quick so you can get a feel for that, which does not offer a lot of pricing. Again, I mean, you can access the backyard from the garage, but then your only other walk off is from your master, which I know like your backyard lifestyle, that might not be ideal. I mean, you have this pad here, it's not covered. It's a good backyard, but again, yeah, there's DRS. So it's certainly not beautiful. I mean, you could always plant a line of those fast growing palms and have it completely covered in two years. You wouldn't see anything, but okay, so here's the back of the house. I think it looks like this addition is definitely just wood frame. So your master bedroom is wood frame. Little bit of settlement cracking and things so it's a, it's a lot to think about i'll get this up a little bit and send over to you 